Hello again, everybody. Let's see what we can do. Okay, now, we're going over Planet Top X. Okay, I'm okay, you're doing it correct. Clean up, clean up real good. Anything that's loose, any dirt that's in there you want to get rid of. And then you want to, they call it a scrub coat. Now, this is where you get a, a wet mix of it. In other words, you mix a little bit more. And you kind of, you can use, use gloves when you use this because, you know, just for the be on the safe side, use some gloves, like some rubber gloves. But get a handful and kind of just rub it into the, the surface, like a, a wet coat. So it's like a primer almost. And then when you go to patch it, it kind of adheres better. The experts, they can do their own research. I'm just doing what I use it for myself. I keep it in a, I get myself a nice, clean, dry five gallon bucket. Like a regular white five gallon bucket, you would get like a can of spackle and they sell clean buckets with a sealing lid. I get the 50 pound bag, dump it in the can, and I cut the bag open so all the information, and I tape it to the can. I put the cap on it, seal I put it down on the shelf in the basement. I'm ready for any kind of patching job I need outside to set crack of the sidewalk, a little repair on a broken cement. Always prepared. All they need oh. is drown water. Now, that's me. I'd rather have that than, you know, I gotta run out to the Home Depot, I gotta get some, what well, kind of, I gotta get the, the ready mix, do I get mortar mix, do I get PLS, do I get spec mix, do I get, I can't, I, wow. I got X, I got down the garage, I gotta go nowhere. I have it done in 15 minutes. I'm, I'm gonna show you how fast this stuff, this amazing stuff. You're gonna, you're gonna be, you're gonna be amazed how, how this works. Hey, unbelievable! But, uh, if you ever tried any cementing work before, which most guys have tried it, not all, but some guys have. But uh, I tried, and uh, sometimes you mix too much water, and it sits there, and it's just sag. You try to fill it in a little crack, it slides down, it's all over the place. Next, you know you get a big mess. You know, and you're trying to act like, yeah, I know how to do some that, I know how to do some that. And the next you know, uh, your girlfriend or your wife comes over and she sees a big pile of cement. Half the bag's on the, on the ground and you're scooping it up, trying to stuff it in with your fingers. I've been there. You know, stuffing it, using your hands, the trail's on the ground and you're using your hand to fix the crack with the, with the gloves on. You're stuffing it in there. Hey, everyone's done it. It's fine. You use, okay. Mm, you know what? I'm going to skip all this tape. I'm going to explain the rest myself, okay? I buy in a minute. I always buy to keep it on hand at all times. I'm never without it. I'm always ready to fix a crack. <laughs> anyway, that was lame. But, uh, <laughs> all right, everybody, let's get back on track here now. Anyway, I'm going to show you how... Let me see, show you this from one thing right now. Let's see this right here. This is your, a half of a four inch cinder block. Half piece, it's been broken, all right? Now, I wanna show you how, say this is the top of your wall, somebody knocked the piece off and it's broken. You don't know what to do, you're like, oh, I gotta replace the block, I gotta fix the wall, I gotta call a contractor. Not always. Now say that the rest of the wall's fine, and say you, it was a wall that has been painted or stuccoed and it's got a piece broken and you don't know what to do. It's an eyesore, you know, it's, you're like, oh my God, my, my wife's gonna see, she's gonna say, holy Christ, what the hell did you do to the wall? So right away, she's gonna blame it on you, of course. I wanna show you how we mix it and we'll get started. So hang tight, cut to a commercial room. Okay, I wanna go over some of the properties of this Planet Top X we're working with today. As you can see, it's made by Mape. Planet Top X. It's a one component, fast setting. It's fiber reinforced. Small fibers increase the strength. It's for vertical and overhead repair. I'm back. Now I'm going to show you a few of the items here. These are a few tools I'm going to use. Now this, it's not the kind. It's just a trail, rounded edge for pointing, tuck pointing. It's a trail. I'm going to use it to mix because I'm only going to mix a small amount. Explain to you why that is. I got a few tools like a it's like a striker, but it's actually like a pointing tool. It's actually could be like a trail, but it's like to get in the small places. And I like to use it for carving. And so you got a striking iron, that's for pointing thick joints, pretty wide. Also, this is a groove, this is for a concrete tool actually. 
for putting the edge, blowing those edge. I want to use it for something else. This here is what you call a hook, small one. Put your cement on there, you can work from here, like that. This is the stuff I don't carry a lot of tools. I don't really do the work. I can tell you what, what you need to use. Okay, now what we have here, small amount. You see here, it's no more than three pounds, two pounds. I need a pound of Planet Top X. Small amount. Got two cups of water here. I'm going to show you how I actually do this. Now, I mix a small amount because you mix too much, it starts to set too fast, and you end up throwing it away. The last thing you want to do is throw it away. You start out real slow. Like, for instance, I'm going to start out like this. So I'm doing it. I know it's going to be sloppy, but basically, it's nothing. That's a small crack I'm throwing there. This is what I do. I mean, a little circle on the center, I guess. Right. I mean, usually you want to put it in a little, you can mix it in here if you want. But I'm just going to give you an idea. I'll put a little bit of water in the center of that hole. See that? All right, starting to fall. Okay, we got this water here. Let's get it back over there. Now, basically, tucking it into that water. Mix it right here on the trail. Right on the trail, I'm going to mix it. Should clean the trail, but what are you going to do? Just to give you an idea. Okay. Yeah, so she's trying to mix. See, I like to mix it nice and dry. I don't like, to, I like a wet mix. I want to mix it real good. You know what? I like it when it's dry. Because then you can immediately start to build with it. It's only small amount. See how nice and smooth it goes? Okay, now. That's it. All best. Now, you can get a cement. No, take it up there, it's not drooping or anything like that. Get it over on this side. Now, basically, what I'm going to do. Let's sit there for a little bit. Alright, put a little more in there. I mean, you might want to stay with that and work with it until you get the thick the handle of it. But I ain't got all I know you don't got all night, so I'm just gonna mix another little batch here. That's why I got the tray there. I know it's not the right build, but I'm one person here. You don't have to clean it up, so what do you care? <laughs> um, okay. Now, don't let your wife see you using the Tupperware and the, the measuring cup. See, I'm single. I, I can use I can I can use a measuring cup to mix cement. I can use Tupperware to mix cement. Nobody's ever told me I can't do it. Okay, so my nice little. Consistent batch again. Okay. Right. This one's already starting to set here. I'm almost ready to do something with that one there. Right. Get a little bit here. Now, you don't want too much water in there with this. I like a nice dry mix. When it sets quickly, you don't have to sit and wait around. Because even though it's fast set, you don't have to sit around. If it gets too much water, you, know, you got to wait. You, know, you got to wait for it to start to set a little bit. 
and then before you can actually use it like I just use it right there. Okay. This use it as a brace here. And you can't see that, but you can see what I'm doing here. Let's work it in a little bit, see them? Just working to where it's like a... Like say you need more milk in your mashed potatoes, it's too salt. That's what you're looking for. Mashed potatoes that need more milk. Or however you eat them. Some people don't have milk. I never got that part. I had milk and butter. Anyway. show you so you get the idea here. Droop like right over cement would just slide down the side of that block. But and even though this is wet, but you know just don't force it in there. Down. Get it at the right time. You do it at the right time, it'll work perfect for you. This is a little wetter than the first batch. So a little bit but not much. This. this isn't the proper stuff. This is like the guy at at home he don't have any masonry tools and make them with what he's got. So basically I'm using what I got around the house. But I'm gonna get the job done. It's just the same. So I just want to show you that this stuff pretty much with the stuff you have at home, you can pretty much do the same job. Okay. You should always have these clean like these aren't clean. Nice and clean and and, and wet. Give you a nice, slick, smooth thing to them, but okay. it's just a little wetter, but it's still holding a little. I'm gonna go, let's just do a triangle. How's that? We'll do a shape of a triangle straight up that ledge there. All right, let me show you. Try that one droop. See, so once it starts to set better. I'm going to actually be able to carve that to make a nice triangle. And let me get back to my better tool here. And this trail is a little bit better. Oh, damn, yeah. Always, before you hit that, in the back of your trail. Nice. To speed this up, so you don't have to sit here all night and watch it. I'm gonna go turn it off. I sure like the cement. Maybe get kind of. Usually use a sponge. I'm sorry, but I'm just using. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Fifteen minutes from now, I'm not gonna be able to budge that. Check me out, Brett Lafty, on YouTube. Also, Brett's Masonry helps slash tips. It's on Facebook. You can find some videos, some interesting stuff. Some products I just showed pictures of. I really haven't done tutorials on them. But basically, I'm, I'm going to try and cover each area. But just minor stuff, nothing technical, no specifications. Just stuff like the regular guy that doesn't do cement work could do that he never thought he could. Anyway, let's see this. I want to try this part. This is the groover for your cement, for the concrete. Now let's see if I can get a rounded edge. See this like that so far? Let's 
concrete block. Right? Basically, I'm trying to get the rounded edge if you want it to be rounded. That would have to build up a little more. And basically, it still has to be a little bit not set up like this. But, it's like I'm doing it now. Okay? So I'm using the curled edge. So you go from this side because it's the open end. Let me see how you can see that. That would be from here. You would see how this one, this one, I guess this one would cut out. So you would start from here. Keep it nice and flush. And you get a little bevel on the end. So I'm basically done what I was trying to tell you to do. We got a nice smooth edge. Yeah, a couple of inconsistencies here, but you know what? You can kind of, as it gets, starts to set more, smooth them parts out, but stay on top of it, don't, because before you turn your head, it's, it's dry, it ain't moving. And right now, I still, I can still sculpt and carve. Now also, what I've done before, I've had seen some of these though, where they, had a post, it was a round post, a ball, got broken off, and he was like, he couldn't find the piece, it was so hard to find the piece, and it just was an eyesore, it was like a concrete round ball on the top of the post, he made like a snowball with it, basically sat it on there, and as it started to set, he carved around, and it's not exact, put a little texture in it to make to match the other one, painted it, he actually made the, around the edge for the platform part, with one, something like this, couldn't tell the difference. And once you paint it, couldn't tell the difference. Okay. So basically, we covered Planet Top X Mape thing and Mape cement. It's a fast drying, quick set, fiber reinforced, shrinkage compensation, vertical and overhead. In other words, if you got a crack on the ceiling, you can do it on that. If it's on the wall, you can do it. You can fix the crack. On the floor, you can fix the crack. You could stick it in your ass and fix the crack. Just kidding. Anyway, even these women, if you're watching, don't just say, hey, why don't you fix that? You know, it's a, it's a man's job. You know what? I'm tired of hearing it's a man's job because all the women's rights, the burning of the brow and all that stuff. You know what? If you want to be equal, you got to stay equal. You can't just keep on planting. So... Nothing against women. I love them. I really do. I don't live without them. Well, I could, but I wouldn't want to. <laughs> All right, now look how we're going here. I mean, we're just doing a quick little thing here, and this thing's just about ready. Now you got your triangle piece. I know I was, I was kind of on the fly here and the whole thing. So anyway, this is basically a quick thing on. Now it's a mess here, but I'll take care of that. And they, this, they do this thing with it. It's called stipple. Now, I don't, I, I don't have this one to have it downstairs, but if you want, sometimes you wet it, get the bristles of your brush while it's still curing. And yeah, it kind of has a texture almost, like a cinder block texture. Alright, so on top. Keep that top edge if you want to keep it nice smooth. Look. I mean, I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but you know what? Once you put a coat of paint on that, no one's going to be able to tell the difference. And you didn't hire no contractor. You, you had it in, you had it in your garage. You used a Tupperware. You used a cup of water. I used a tray from a hoagie tray. A piece of tile I set the block with. Basically, well, you're not going to do that side, but still, you see what I'm saying now. Now I'm going to. Yeah. See you next time, Brett's Masonry. Help slash tips. You take care. See you next time. Bye.